The name of this movie is Axe Giant, The Wrath of Paul Bunyan. Let's go into the story of this movie. On a quiet day, Instructor Hawk arrives at his cabin in the woods with five inmates and a female lawyer. He and the lawyer will take the five inmates to the forest for a week of reformation. Instructor Hawk was a hard-hearted man, and he was ready to curse when he opened his mouth. When they arrived at the camp, he wouldn't let anyone into his house either. Instead, he let them spend the night in the tent. In the evening a group of people around the campfire, the lawyer gave everyone a legal advice session. The five prisoners were Marty, CB, Rosa, Zach, and Ritna. Some of them did commit crimes, some of them were just implicated. Everyone felt they shouldn't be here and that it was the fault of the law. The lawyers patiently talked to the inmates and persuaded them. Just as they were talking, Uncle Meeks came out. He startled everyone. Instructor Hawk went out and chased him away and told everyone to go to bed. Because they had to get up at 5 o'clock the next day. The next day at 5 o'clock Hawk woke up the inmates from their beauty sleep on time. It was a long hike. At the persuasion of his lawyer Hawk did not take his gun with him. Hawk led the six men on a morning hike. It was noon before they stopped at the top of the mountain for lunch. Zack couldn't take it anymore and started thinking about how to escape. He wandered around and saw the bones of a cow on the ground. He took the bull's horn and planned to make a toy. After they left a giant came to the place. He picked up the head of the bull with only one horn left and roared in anger. One of them picked up the horn. He ran against the wind and the bull's horns sounded a trumpet. The sound of the giant's footsteps was coming closer and closer, but they were unaware of it. Ritna, who was playing with her cell phone in the face of the forest, was cut in half by the giant with an axe. The rest of the group fled in panic as the giant raised his axe and slashed everywhere. Chopped down the branch hit Rosa's waist, Zack and Marty had to help her run. And to save the lawyer and CB. Hawk was also killed by an axe. The rest of the people ran as fast as they could to get back to the camp. But this is certainly not a safe place. Marty tried to start Hawk's van. But before he could, the giant appeared. The giant easily dragged the van away. The crowd was frustrated to lose their means of escape. Zack even froze and cut his hand with a knife. At that moment, Uncle Meeks came running towards the house in a panic. He ran into the house and asked what they had done. What had they done to make the giant so angry? CB thought about it and took out the bull's horn. Meeks instantly understood. He told everyone about the giant's life. The giant's name was Paul Bunyan, born in the late 19th century. Born with gigantism, he was able to work in the lumberyard by the age of five. He had no one to befriend him. His only friend was a blue bull named Babe. One day he looked around for Babe, but he saw some lumberjacks killing Babe and roasting him for dinner. Angry, he grabbed an axe and killed the lumberjacks, then ran off into the forest. But the people did not let him go. Instead, they tied him up and paraded him through the streets to humiliate him. Even his favorite woman, Mibble, turned away. Then they put him in a mine full of explosives and set fire to the explosives in an attempt to keep him there forever. But Bunyan escaped anyway. He built a tomb for Bebby at the top of the mountain and then watched over the friend in solitude. Meek said their only chance of survival was to return the bullhorn to the grave. Otherwise, no one would survive. Zack knew it was all his own fault that he had taken the bullhorn. He grabbed the bullhorn and ran out of the house and threw it into the forest, hoping to appease the giant's anger. But the giant did not let him go. The horn flew back and penetrated his body. The giant took him back with the horn. Everyone slept restlessly during the night, while the giant spent the night sharpening his knife in the cave. The next day Meeks told CB. The reason she hadn't been cut up was because she looked exactly like Mibble. He hoped that CB would find a way to calm the giant down, and after that he ran away himself. Shortly afterwards the giant appeared. He cut through the roof of the house and grabbed Rosa. But Rosa wasn't what he wanted. He threw her out of the house, and Rosa died quickly after hitting a tree. The lawyer shot the giant in one eye with his gun. But he was still not going to let the three go. That's when CB's father, Sheriff Donner, arrives. He was worried that CB would not be able to stand Hawk's torture, but he didn't realize that there was still a giant here. He put the giant down with a tranquilizer. The four turned to escape, but were stopped by Meeks with a gun. Meeks forced them to leave CB behind. Marty, however, went crazy and blocked the gun and was killed. By this time, the giant had woken up, the remaining three drove the car also failed to get rid of him. In the middle of the chase Donner had everyone run up to the bridge hoping to hide in the tower. But the door of the tower could not be opened. Just as the giant was about to strike, Donner called for reinforcements to appear. A group of soldiers shot the giant with a few shots each and made holes all over his body. But before the giant fell, he just looked back at CB and shouted Mabel's name. The giant fell into the river and disappeared, and the film ended here. If you like my video, please click on a subscription thank you.